everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the freshly picked mini um, classic diaper bag. And I've been using full size diaper bags and medium size ones. So using the mini was throwing me off a little bit. It's been a while since I've used a mini diaper bag, but I was able to fit everything I normally would take except for two items. And the first one is the toys that I usually pack for my daughter and a second water bottle. Now the toys I'm okay with leaving out. I rarely grab for these at all, but if I absolutely need it to take some sort of entertainment for my daughter, I'm 100% sure a pack and play could fit in here, so that's okay. And the only thing is this, the second water bottle, I wish it could fit in here. Um, you know, for myself and for my daughter, and especially with my oldest being done with school, I am gonna need that water bottle. But there are ways around that. I'm able to, you know, just put the second water bottle in my stroller. So it's okay, it kind of works out, but I definitely think this is perfect for one toddler for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I have it packed and review it along the way as well. So let's get started. The color that I have is in Fig, and for the longest time I was always sold on Birch, but if it wasn't for another mama on the BST page, I wouldn't have even known about this big color. So I'm so grateful for her for bringing this to my attention. Um, I saw it and I was like, what the heck is that? And I had to try it out. I think the color is so interesting. If you guys notice, it definitely looks like a mauve color. It's really neutral. And I think the color is kind of dusty in person as well. And here in the front, you have the matte gold logo and the zippers on this is so smooth, it's so nice. And my uh, first complaint is gonna be this front pocket. It's so flat. Let me show you guys the side. You guys see here, it's really flat. So there isn't a lot of room in that pocket. So yeah, that's just a small complaint. It's pretty tight in here. And then because it's so tight, I feel like these zippers kind of scrape against my hand a little bit. And what I have in there is so hard to get out is my little wallet and also my car keys. You have two bottle pockets and they can hold bottles fine, um, except if you get bottles on the outside, then the inside pocket becomes too tight or vice versa. So on this side, I'm able to fit one water bottle because the inside pocket has something pretty slim. And on this side, I have more in that pocket so I can't fit another bottle. So on the right side, I have a sippy cup. And on the left side, I have my phone. Here on the back, you have a really nice grab handle. Um, this tends to lay down flat like this, the way it is, and I do feel this on my back and it's just a little bit annoying. So I find myself reaching behind and pulling this um, grab handle up so I don't feel it on my back. Um, that might just be me, but you can be aware of that, that this does lay down flat and you can feel this on the back. The backpack straps are a nylon seatbelt strap material. You guys, I really like these straps. They are so sturdy feeling. It's kind of thicker than your typical seatbelt strap. It's something about it feels so hefty and really nice. Because of that, I feel like the adjusters, um, it's not difficult to adjust, but it definitely doesn't slide super easily because of the thickness of it. I don't mind that, you know, it keeps this from moving around. And this is strictly a backpack style diaper bag. You can't remove the straps, you can't detach them and tuck them away. There's no back slip pocket or anything like that back here. The faux leather on this bag is so nice. It's a little bit pebbled and it's just so soft. I like it so much. And this front flap, I really like as well. Um, I have tried two other freshly picked look-alike diaper bags and they have the same type of flap. But the other two that I've tried, the flap is really thick. It's not like cardboard, but it's so thick. Um, and the freshly picked one is so much thinner and it can bend. You guys can see here, I can even roll it all the way. This is so much nicer. And because of that, when this flap is open, the bag doesn't collapse. I feel with the other two freshly picked lookalike bags, because the flap was so thick, every single time you opened up the bag, the bag would just collapse into itself. Opening, you have a tassel zipper. This is so nice and it's so soft too. The zippers again are so smooth and it does extend out with this little tail here. Um, I always grab onto this to close up my bag. 
Of course, on the side of the freshly picked diaper bags, you have this snap button. Don't have any issues with these snaps. They're not hard to snap together. They're not hard to undo. But I will say I don't even bother snapping these together. You know, it, even though it's easy, it is time consuming. So I don't even bother with it. Um, and another complaint is when I'm getting into my backpack, um, when I swing it around and get inside, this tends to expand out like this. So I do have to like take the time to tuck it back in because I definitely don't like the look of the tabs hanging out like this. I really do like the opening of the freshly picked. You guys see here, it's such a big opening. You can see everything on the inside. And for a mini diaper bag, it has really great organization. The inside is a nylon material and you guys can see the color. It's so pretty really dusty pink i like that a lot and i'll show you guys the main portion right here i have um a travel potty seat i have a small package of wipes in there and also disinfectant wipes i feel this could work better for me if i didn't have the travel potty seat but this is just something that i have to take my daughter needs it she prefers it so this goes everywhere with me at the very bottom i have an extra change of clothes and now you guys can start seeing the organization more clearly you have a big elastic pocket on the front side of the bag two elastic pockets on either side and a slip pocket here lightly padded so you can fit a tablet if you carry that with you and at the back a zippered pocket on this side i just have a packet of tissues again something really slim so i'm able to slide in a bottle on the outside you can fit a bottle on the inside but then again this pocket will become too tight on the other side, I have two pouches. Um, one has a bunch of disposable baggies and also my med kit is in there. On the front side, I have a little bumpkins pouch and this has utensils, um, a silicone lid and straw for when we go out to eat. And lastly in there, I have Johnson's hand and face wipes. And in the back portion, I'm not happy with putting this next back here, but I didn't know where else to put it. So I have Jack Links. This is for me. And I have two apple sauces and in the back zippered pocket i have a mirror hand sanitizer and i believe i have three lipsticks and the last thing in there are tums and that is what it looks like empty it's such a nice mini bag i think it's growing on me i do like it a lot um really reminds me to keep it minimal and you know not carry such a huge diaper bag all the time and the color is so beautiful and it looks so classy and you can dress it up or dress it down. So I enjoy that a lot. That is my review and packing of the freshly picked mini diaper bag. I hope you guys found this review super helpful. I know there aren't a ton of reviews for this diaper bag. Um, I knew I was trying to find some reviews for this too and there just wasn't a lot. So I hope you guys found my take on it helpful. And if you guys had any questions about this, please leave them down below and consider subscribing if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.